thousands of Roblox to open the world's best restaurant. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Beck Bro Cookie Cafe. We already have customers, and I have my first hire. This is David. Everybody say hi to David. Say hi by leaving a like on today's video. All right, David, what do we have so far? Uh, food. We need food. All right, I'm gonna grab food. We're gonna cook the food. Uh, I need to hire people quickly, dude. We're, we're, we're already behind. There's the one, two, three, four, five, six different people here. I am stressing out. There's so many people. What do I do? Okay, that's done. Uh, duh. we're gonna grab that. Uh, yes, good job, David. Serve them their food. I guess I'm gonna be the chef. Uh, wait, can I, can I increase my staff here? Let's, uh, let's get Preston, the cook. Can I afford Preston? I don't have enough money for Preston. Uh, what, what, what about at the shop? Uh, no, we don't have anything at the shop. What about, uh, what about Boost? Cash, cash. We need, we need a cash influx. We need one million dollars. 4,500 Robux. We gotta do it. Okay, good. Now we have enough cash to buy Preston. Okay, we're gonna go over to staff, buy Preston, and we're also gonna get Jack. We might as well get Bob as well. Look at that. Now we have a full staff of people at the Beck Bro Cookie Cafe. Hello, sir. How are you enjoying your poop salad? It looks delicious. We also have Krabby Patties. I will never tell you the Krabby Patty secret formula. Where are the rest of the people? Why is nobody else coming to my beautiful cookie cafe? Okay, what can we get? Uh, we can go to recipes. Can we buy anything else? Um, right now we're serving uh, Krabby Patties, pizza. We're also serving tacos, and I think that's poop salad. Why, oh, yes, sir. Welcome to the Beckbro Cookie Cafe. That's right. Have a seat. Check out the menu. You have a beautiful mustache and beard, sir. The first rule of every good restaurant in the entire universe is good hospitality. You gotta be nice to the customers. My waiters are the best waiters in the entire universe. They're the type of waiters that as soon as you take a bite from your fork, they take your fork and they give you a brand new one. We need to think outside of the box, guys. As you guys can see, around this map, there's other restaurants. That's my competition. That one over there has five stories. I only have one story. Let's head over to the big shop. Oh, we can upgrade our stove. We can get a double stove. A double stove is double food, which means double the money. What about a high quality stove? Okay, let's get a couple double stoves. Let's get three. That's six times more money. What's over here? Uh, uh, additional cleaner. Let's get, uh, what is this? A stainless dishwasher. Yeah, let's get one of these. Let's get actually three of these. And we have our daily deals. Uh, we get some wooden counters. We don't need that. Let's get, uh, no, we don't need that. What about a plant? We can spice up our restaurant. You must have VIP. Why am I not already a VIP? We're gonna be spending 400 Robux. We gotta be VIPs. Give me that candle. Give me three candles. What is this? Marble counter? Yeah, we want three of those too. Give me this plant. All right, let's see how our restaurant's doing. Seems like we're doing pretty good. We still have $936,000 to spend. Okay, we need to add in some more counters so that we can have more customers. So if I go over to my furniture, we need to... Wait, where do we buy more counters? I have marble counters. I don't know if that fits the vibe down here. Maybe that could be the second story. Each story can get more expensive. Here it is. Okay, we're gonna buy some more cheap chairs. And also some more cheap bar stools. Wait, did I really just buy chairs? Is that all that I have? Just chairs? This is terrible. Well, I guess we're gonna have lots of chairs. This is just gonna be a huge cafeteria table. Chair, 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 chair. Over here, we'll have some double tables. Put a plant in the corner because plants equal money. And we'll make it nice and fancy when you first walk in. We'll add some candles. Oh, this is where you get the counters. All right, we're gonna buy lots of counters. Just a couple. Okay, now if I go back to furniture, can I place these down? Yes, there we go. Okay, we actually have tables for people to sit at. Table, table, wait. Oh, crap. No, I don't know if these are the right tables. They don't look anything like those tables. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, people are able to sit there. Good. Yeah, we're just gonna replace all of these tables. We're gonna delete these tables. I'm sorry, sir. Does not. Yeah, I don't care. Get the heck out of my restaurant. Yes, okay, we have a giant cafeteria table. This will be for birthday parties. Okay, we're gonna up our sink game too. We're gonna get rid of these two, go to appliances, and we're gonna put our double sink right there. Boom, there we go. Now we got double the washing power. Everybody's looking good. Look at that. They're they're enjoying the tacos, the pizza, the Krabby Patties. Not able to hire anybody else until I get to level two, but I could just spend the Robux in order to upgrade. This is exactly what we need. We have stand. We also need to add another cook. This is how most restaurants become the best restaurants in the world. They just keep hiring the best people. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a double stove right here that they could use. There you go, boys. I guess we'll add uh, another sink over here in this corner if anybody wants to keep washing stuff. There you go, boys. And we'll add another double stove. We're gonna have so many cooks in the kitchen. There's never too many cooks in the kitchen. This is totally not a fire hazard. Guys, look how many people we have lining up and I, I don't even have enough chairs for the people. Are you sure you'd like to close your restaurant? No, we're just getting started. Boom, give me some chairs. I am maximizing my space. We should also add another area where people are able to order 
order so that we have multiple cash registers set up. And it's going to be a good idea to add in uh, just a few more tables. We're going to be sitting so many people. All right, chair there, chair there. More chairs. I'm starting to get stressed out. There's so many people here. Okay, that's looking good. As soon as they come in, cafeteria to the left. And then you got like individual seats all the way to the right. Uh, we need to add in some more cheap bar stools. Everybody can sit around the bar. There you go, guys. All right, somebody can sit over here in the corner if they want to. All by themselves. You can have a lone wolf over there. We have seating on the inside. Why not, right? They could be in with the with the, the big dogs in the kitchen. Yo, look at this guy. He looks like a baller. Oh, he's going to tip some good money. Seems like the cafeteria style stuff is going really well. So we're going to just try to do that in reverse. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, 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 boom. Every chair is a brand new customer. It doesn't look pretty, but level one is for the peasants. As we add more levels, they'll be for the richer clients. We need more waiters. Look, there's just money on the table. What if a robber comes in and steals it? We need more. We, we literally, we have to spend all of our Robux. There we go. Another waiter. Got another waiter. We're also probably going to need at least one more cook. That's looking good. And then probably another waiter. There are people lining up at the door. They're just waiting around. There is zero wait time at Beck Bro Jack's Cookie Cafe. We don't even sell cookies yet. Are there cookies on this menu? Can I get cookies eventually? I see bacon, chocolate cake, pumpkin pie. There's gotta be cookies eventually. We just have to hope that OSHA or anybody else from the FDA does not come in here and ask about my Krabby Patties or my seating arrangement because this is totally not legal. The royal table will be the centerpiece directly in the center of floor number two. Okay, now we need the royal chairs on both sides like that and one like that. That actually, I don't know if that worked out in my favor we actually we need one more royal chair this is going to be worth it business is going to be better than it's ever been before i promise you guys that i would be spending thousands of robux to get the best restaurant in roblox and i'm not gonna disappoint there we go now we have a table for royalty okay over in this corner we need our luxury counters there we go okay we're not gonna have it come out too far we're gonna have this curve we're gonna have our luxury counter go over there and then I guess we'll need to delete one section so that we have a spot for them to order. All right, I guess they're going to have to order right there. And then right over here, we're going to have a luxury stand where they can get their silverware. They're not getting their silverware. Look how fancy they are. But our waiters are going to get their silverware. Now, obviously, they're not going to want to be alone. They're going to want other rich people to see just how rich they are. So we're going to need to grab our furniture, get all these luxury counters, and we're just going to have it line the sides. There we go, just like that. And then we have our luxury bar stools so that everybody can sit around. They're not going to be able to look at the rich royalty in the center, of course. They're going to be able to look out the views of the beautiful windows. If this doesn't scream luxury, I don't know what does. And then we will have a statue. Beautiful statue for people to see. Let's see, what's the statue? It's me. Am I naked? Am I actually naked? It's me and Jeff. We're both naked. It is beautiful. This actually looks like a really cool restaurant. A YouTuber customer has entered your restaurant. Wait a second, who's the YouTuber? Is he sitting in floor number one? Guys, we got to make sure YouTubers are in floor number two. Is it you? You kind of look like YouTuber. Where's the YouTuber? I can't can't tell, but if you guys see the YouTuber, please leave a comment down below. I love how the people are sitting inside of the kitchen. Oh, that's so good. We obviously need more staff. We have too many customers and not enough waiters and cooks. It's starting to get really pricey to hire the staff, but it's only a one-time pay. As soon as they're here, they can never leave. I, I literally have them hostage. Thank you for joining my restaurant. Uh, we're going to add in you as well. We're going to have the best staff in the entire universe. This is Beck Bro Jack's Cookie Cafe, where we sell everything but cookies All right we officially have nine waiters and nine cooks David, Bob, Stan, Sam, Ethan, Thomas, Benjamin, Emily, Peter are our waiters. And we also have Preston, Jack, Josh, Stefan, Harry, Henry, Liam, Kenny, and Taylor as our cooks. And currently, the fanciest thing that we sell is a croissant for $26. We should probably unlock some more food options. They can now buy a chicken wing, a burrito, a full chicken, and a bowl of the world's finest tomato soup. We're being overwhelmed right now. I'm actually, I have to sit people. I'm actually working. We can't keep up with this type of demand. Gosh, okay, everybody just come in and take a seat. Seat yourself. What does a restaurant do when they literally have too many people coming? All right, I think we're gonna have to open up another floor. $24,000, $85,000, $200,000. We now have five floors. We need some boost here. We need to spend our Robux. Spend money to make money. Double profits for only 150 Robux. That is an investment I cannot pass up. There's also an advertising campaign. A massive boost in customers. Okay, that's only 80 Robux. Okay, we're gonna do that one. Uh, celebrity. Instantly send a super famous celebrity customer to your restaurant. Me, beautiful chef Ramsey. Or I'll take, I'll take, uh, I'll take somebody else. I'll literally take any chef. What about Santa? I don't think I want Santa yet. To get a VIP customer immediately to start spending some money, I'm gonna drop big bucks, big buckaroos. And eventually we could send Santa. I don't want to send Santa yet. VIP customer has entered the restaurant. 
perfect. Lord number three so far has a very interesting design. I'm not entirely sure what I was going for here, but we're kind of just working with it. Gonna put some luxury tables over on this side. Santa is back in the restaurant, ladies and gentlemen. It will add some luxury chairs over here. A couple draped tables on the inside so people can enjoy their ice cream. There's some luxury bar stools right around those. One per table, of course. You don't want anybody else near you while you're eating your ice cream. A line of plants that is beautifully modern. And then we shall have an arcade section. Arcade machine there. So we'll put two right there. Two in this corner. I think we have one of the best restaurants the world has ever seen. Look at that, guys. People are playing. We need more staff. What is this? Okay, we're gonna buy another recipe. I think it's for a chocolate muffin, which is essential in a cookie cafe. We need to have some sort of desserts that people can buy. As I was checking out some of the passes and we could get rich customers. I think they're just gonna be able to spend more money. Oh, sweet. Okay, we got that. What is a future theme? We're gonna get it. I don't even know if it affects how much money I get, but if, if a restaurant looks futuristic themed, I'm gonna want it. What? Just happened to my place. Yo, check it out. That looks so cool. Does it look good with everything that I've done so far? On this one, it actually kind of does. Then outside, bro, check it out. That's so sick. Like, if you saw this restaurant, you would 1000% want to go inside. It kind of looks more like a condominium or like a hotel than a restaurant. The first floor looks so dumb, bro. It looks so cheap, but then everything else around it, there's like modern lights. And then the floor looks like carbon fiber. I'm seeing a lot of empty chairs here, guys. Don't worry, as the person in charge, we will be getting a boost. Buy another advertising campaign. Okay, let's go back down to the front door. People coming? Yes, they are. All right, everybody have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. There you go. It's working. I don't even know where they're coming from. I'm not just the greeter. I'm just standing here. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Beck Bro Jack's Cookie Cafe. I am Beck Bro Jack. This is my cookie cafe. Make sure to ask for the Krabby Patty. I put secret sauce on it. Yes, we leveled up again. We got $700. That's that's literally peasant money. We need to get to the point where we have one waiter for every customer that comes in. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm just going to keep buying waiters until that happens. Nobody will ever have to wait for their food. This is going to be fast food, but it's also going to be a five-star restaurant. Yes, VIP customers have come in. All right, I need to make sure that they're whining and dining. There you go. That's right. Up here, guys. Yes, sit at the royal table. Nobody will look at you. Yes, I highly recommend the Krabby Patty. So far, we've served over 600 customers. I honestly thought it was going to be more. Look, guys, we have the best restaurant in this entire island. Smash like if you want to see a part two. There's brand new Beck Bro Jack merch. We have shirts, hoodies, plushies, posters, and more available only at beckbrojack.co. Get yours today.